Yo, it's popper time. Uh, 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 I want to play first. Uh, mine expedition map. Okay, what do I have? I have mine, power plant, need tower. Oh, almost crusher. Almost crusher land. I think I'm gonna go for Prism. Uh, star. And cast Oracle. So I save the star for... Uh, uh, what happened? For... Uh, eh, the Marauder. Maldrifter seems like a good choice. Uh, okay, well, uh, he is not equipped to deal with Olomog's Crusher right now, I think. Or should we draw out more... Uh, Removal, we probably should. So we cast this guy. We firebolt. Gain the land, uh, the life. Yes, yield. Cast the firebolt. And play the prism. And charge in with Oracle. And of course it is Mono Black Control. I have plenty of videos on Magic Gathering Strat playing this deck against Mono Black Control. Um, th and this is the matchup this deck was created for by Avignon. So it's... Uh, I'm glad I didn't put this on Magic Gathering Strat because there are several videos of this matchup already. A rager. Hey. Uh, okay. Uh, we have six, ten. We have to cast the crusher here, don't we? Let's attack first. I want to cast the Maldrifter. To counter both. And we probably should just cast. The Crusher and the Culling Garden. He can now deal with the Marauder, but he needs to deal with the Crusher, of course. Can't deal with the Crusher. 
He is dead meat, and now I get to attack, which is crazy. Good for me. Why did I play that island? He could deal with it. Waited. To get me excited. Okay, how much mana is this? Uh, 10, 12. That means that I can cast both of them. So here is the Maldrifter. And he will probably find other cozy things to cast. Uh, did I just mess up? No, I didn't. I really wanted to blow that star though, get 10 life. Uh, okay, the sideboarding was very unexciting. We take out Flame Slash, put in a Fangor Marauder. I even remember that from the article. I have an excellent record with this deck, and I think the record is very inflated by uh, there being so many mono black control decks in the practice room. If I win, I will be 16-2. I'm 15-2, 88%. And this matchup is very uh, favored for Tron. This is the very reason to play Tron. What a beautiful hand! I am liking this hand. Uh, don't move again. Yeah, that's uh, a painful dress actually. I don't want to lose the stars and squares. But it's not the worst, is it? I'm still ahead of cards. I'm gonna play the mine. I'm gonna go looking for other Ursa lands. And try to assemble the Tron by turn 3, like a boss. Assemble Tron, that is the plan. Oh! Okay, he has another land, he wouldn't play that otherwise. Okay, I play Power Plant. I use the Sphere. To oh, and I get Tower. Look at this. Only skill in this game. Crypt Rats will not stop you from losing everything. Seagate Oracle! Well, uh, I'll take Chromatic Star down, please. And do I use it? Of course I use it. To play Expedition Map, that will get something. I don't know what yet. Something nice, something shiny, something fancy. Maybe a fan graph actually, because I think Seagate Oracle will die. I do have the fan graph already. <laughs> Maybe just the cycle land then. Maybe just the cycle land to get to the business. There is Flame Slash, but uh, first cycle. Get the Prism. Play the press and uh, Fangra Marauder. Fangra Marauder. I think it is the power plant here, and we kill the crypt rats. And beat down with the Seagate Oracle. Ah, no, chittering rats! Damn it. They actually hurt me. They seldom hurt me. But this time they did. Oh, dead weight.
It is definitely the Fangraf here. And we can even use it. Fangrammaråder. We want to return the Fangrammaråder to your hand. My hand. Everybody's hand. And here he comes. Fangram Marauder. Roar, attack. Crypt threat for five. That would be manly. But he's probably just a victim of night. What are you going to do, Cloud Zero? He does Crypt threat for five. That's pretty nice. And I'm sorry I can't do what I planned, because I have this awesome Mull Rifter in my hand, which I just have to cast. Just have to cast. Okay, I'm gonna fan graph at the end of his turn. I don't know what I'm hoping for. Seagate Oracle or Fangram Order. Drawing cards is so sweet in this deck. Sign in blood. Coming over the top. Well, that means I just put away mountain. And then I remove it with the Fangram road. Oh, it, I don't change the library actually, so that doesn't do anything. So now I'm drawing the mountain again. So let's put it to good use. Why do you have a step in my uh, stop in my draw phase, Cloud Zero? Smack a dang to the face. Fangram Roder. Well, now we can actually deal with my guys and uh, set me back. No. See, maybe he has something to deal with. Uh, well, oh well, and then I draw that, so. And then everything just goes south for the poor black control deck. Oh well. <laughs> but like I said, I am going to go with Oracle, because I want to draw even more cards. I'm a greedy bastard. Um, Let's get a blue man out of that. This is some serious card draw. Swear over. Oh, nice turn. Pretty abusive to the poor mono black deck. Now I can just attack him with crap. And I have a two turn clock. Doing that. He can double corrupt me. No, that doesn't do anything. And the Grey Merchant does two points per uh, Well, let's go look. Another chromatic swear will be too much fun. 
Uh, okay, first attack with Mulrifters and CG Forces. Because doing damage is important and fun. And you should always do it because it's important and fun. Uh, okay, we have the Chromatic Sphere. We have a Chromatic Sphere. We will convert the mana to green. Play the Fanger Marauder. Use this. Uh, I don't know why I choose white. I always yes, always yield. We will convert this to green. And cast the expedition map. Cast this land. Yeah. I think I have run away with this game. Thank you for watching.